hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am gonna do something a little different and something a little bit fun i think um, i actually got this video or this idea from my sister because she texted me a couple months back and she's like i need to find the perfect shade of red lipstick help me find one and so i was like swatching a bunch on my hand and sending her pictures and stuff and so it gave me the idea of doing this video that I thought I would try on and swatch a bunch of red lipsticks for you guys so you can see what they look like on my skin tone. If you have a similar skin tone, then you'll kind of have an idea. Um, but also I just feel like, I don't know, everybody wants a good red lip. So I just wanted to try a bunch on for you guys so you can see how they look and yeah. So if you are interested in seeing that, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So I have a bunch of lipsticks here. I think it's about 15. And so I'm going to just do this kind of quickly. So this is the Jouer Lip Cream in the shade Cabernet. Okay, so keep in mind these swatches are not going to be perfect because if I try to do them all perfectly, um, this video is going to be way too long. So this is, like I said, the Jouer Cabernet. I have to say I've had this for about a year and I haven't worn it in a little while and it's kind of dry. Like in the container itself, it was a little bit dry and you can see... I'm not sure if you can see on camera here, but it's a little bit patchy. Um, I kind of had to work with it a bit to, you know, make it look better. But I think the colorful is beautiful. It's a perfect color for um, the holidays, too. So that is Cabernet by Jouet. So the next one that I'm going to swatch is the... This is from Smashbox. It's one of their like uh, shimmery. I don't know. I don't even actually know the shade of it because this is actually a sample that I got. This is a really pretty lipstick for the holidays because it has like little um, glitter in it, and it's. Oh, I'll show you guys. It's really pretty. Like, look at that. This is like a perfect color for Christmas. This is super messy too, but this is like, it's kind of like a lip gloss, but I think it dries down a bit. I don't think it's completely transfer proof, but, and like it's definitely, like I can feel, it's not a matte lip, it's not a matte lipstick. But like I said, oh, sorry, this is like a mess, but it's so pretty for the holidays like this would be perfect for Christmas I think um, but yeah so it's really pretty again this is Smashbox I will put this in the description box because it doesn't even have the name on it or anything but I'll look it up and see what it's called okay next we have this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Beso, Beso which I think means kiss so, anyway, what I was saying is, um, I really like this Stila one. It's not really drying. Actually, this feels very comfortable on my lips. Um, it is transfer proof, and I think it's a really beautiful color, too. Okay, so next we have, this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Unicorn Blood. This is what it looks like, and this is similar in, well, kind of. It's a deeper shade like the Jouer one, but and this is a really pretty shade too, I think. Um, this is more of like a, almost like a maroon red, but also super pretty. Um, I like the Jeffree Star formula as well. It's pretty comfortable not super drying and once it does dry down it is pretty transfer proof so that's good if that's something that you're looking for um 
but yeah this is the shade and I think it's really pretty honestly I like all of these <laughs> so I'm basically just showing you guys these so you can see if you're like oh my god that's the shade that I've been looking for you could pick it up and have it for yourself so this isn't quite dry yet but okay yeah no it's not dry yet at all you can see it's still transferred but when it is dry it is quite transfer proof so but for the sake of this video not being 20 hours long I'm just gonna keep going my poor lips are gonna hate me okay so next we have the Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo K. And this one does, of course, come with the lip liner, but I'm just going to put it on without. This is also sort of like a candy apple red. Very pretty, very similar to the Stila one. Again, sorry these swatches are pretty messy. I'm just trying to do this kind of quick so we can get through all 15 shades. Um, but yeah, this is a really pretty color too. Um, the Kylie uh, liquid lipsticks are not my favorite formula ever, but they are pretty and long lasting. And as long as you, you know, exfoliate your lips before and you can even put a lip balm on underneath and that will help because they are kind of dry. But, um, it won't make it, it won't be transfer proof if you do that, but it will just feel a bit more comfortable. But, um, yeah, so this color is really pretty. It's pretty, um, it's, you know, a typical, like, red with a blue undertone. That classic red, if that's what you're looking for. Um, yeah, really pretty again. Alright, next we have the Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is in the shade Lady Balls, which I love that name. I think it's awesome. So, um, this is, again, another pretty classic red it's a little bit deeper than the Kylie Cosmetics one. I also think it's a bit more comfortable to wear. And this lasts for a really long time. So this is that shade. Um, obviously, you can see there's a little bit of patchiness right there. I'm not going to go over it because I just... My lips are already starting to hurt, so... <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is a really pretty shade, I think. And it's comfortable it is transfer proof once it dries yeah I really like this formula so there you go there's another classic red all right on to the next one this is more of a red orange shade so this is the dose of colors hot fire and this is from the Desi X Katie collection which Unfortunately, I think maybe sold out, but I still just wanted to show you guys this shade anyway because I think it's a really pretty shade and probably something that you could try and find somewhere else. So this is the shade. Um, I think this is a really pretty shade for like summertime, spring or summertime. It's fun with like a super bronzed, glowy face. Um, so not, maybe not the best for like the holidays coming up, but I still want to show you guys it because I do love this like orangey red shade. I think it's really fun. And the Dose of Colors formula, I really like this formula a lot. It's again, very comfortable to wear. Um, it's not dry yet, so it is still going to transfer, but um, it does dry down matte. And I think if I remember correctly, it does transfer a little bit, but um, sometimes I like that better because it doesn't feel quite as like dry and sometimes a liquid lipstick can be really dry and heavy and cracky and in my opinion if it doesn't dry down completely and become completely matte it is a little bit more comfortable okay it actually is completely transfer proof but to me it doesn't feel I don't know it just feels a lot different it doesn't feel as dry and it almost feels like it's still a little bit wet on your lips but clearly it's not so I don't know it's very comfortable and I like the shade a lot okay next um, I have a couple of drugstore ones which is good these are not liquid lips these are just um, 
well they're actually matte lipsticks but they're lipsticks lipsticks not liquid lipsticks so this one is called in the shade um 66 matte passion oh sorry this is the milani i don't know what the official name of it is but i think it's just like the milani matte liquid or matte lipstick so this is kind of another orangey red shade. It's actually similar to the Hot Fire color from Dose of Colors. If you do really like that color but you don't want to spend a lot of money, oh crap. <laughs> you could pick up this Milani because this is from the drugstore. But yeah, I love this formula. It is so comfortable. It, it is matte and like I've worn this like out before and like been having drinks and it still stays on my lips really well. Not as well maybe as like a liquid lip but for a lipstick this is a really good formula. I love this stuff. Actually I'm going to show you another Milani. Okay so this is the same exact formula, same lipstick, just a different shade. This is in shade 72 Matte Kiss. This is more of a true red or like with the blue undertone red. So again, same thing. I love this formula. I think this shade is really pretty. Um, this is a great holiday shade, I think. And again, super comfortable. Very long wearing. And yeah, I love this shade. I'm going to use this Tartist. This, well, it's the Tart Tartist lip paint in the shade Front Row. And this I actually had on in my uh, the Gold Cut Crease video. This is the shade I was wearing. Right, on me, it's not super red. It's more of a nude, brownish shade. But this is also really color, really beautiful color, especially for fall, um, and very comfortable. It does dry down matte. It is transfer proof, and yeah. So sorry, this one's not like super red, but. I thought it would be nice to kind of mix it up a little bit. I am going to show you a couple that aren't like your typical red shades. So that is the first one of those. My poor lips hate me right now. I'm going to have to really give them some love after this. And just so you guys know, the easiest way, in my opinion, to remove a liquid lipstick, you need an oil-based um, remover, whatever it is. You can use coconut oil. Um, but I use, this is just the Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. This works every time. I've had some friends, you know who you are, reach out to me and be like, how do I get this off my lips? And I'm like, you just gotta use something with oil in it, trust me. Like, go eat a salad with oil in the dressing and it'll start to come off. But, seriously, that is how you get it off. Alright, so the next shade I'm going in with is this Morphe Liquid Lip in the shade Fancy Pants. And this is more of a, kind of like a cherry red, I guess you would call it. And these are like five or six bucks, I think, so a good cheaper option if you're looking for something more affordable, this is a good option. And very comfortable, it does dry down matte. I actually think this color is gorgeous. It is, oh, I just think it's so pretty. I love like a red shade with a touch of pink. This is like a perfect color for that I think and I actually love it with this look but um yeah so transfer proof again and comfortable not doesn't feel super dry or heavy or cakey on my lips so again that is great and I promise we're almost done here we have three more to go. Okay the next one is the Jeffree Star this is the collaboration with Manny MUA, and this is in the shade I'm Shook. And this is a really pretty, this is more of like a rose tone red. Doing such a bad job at applying these right now, but whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, this is another beautiful shade, I think. Like I said, it's more of a rosy tone um, red and... Yeah, I just think it's beautiful, and like I said, I do really like the Jeffree Star. I like his formula. Um, can be a little bit drying at times, but I just think it's really pretty. Okay, on to the last 
too. I'm like so excited because my lips are killing me. The next to last one, this is ColourPop. I think this is a matte lip. I don't know. Oh no, this is a satin lip, so it's not gonna dry down matte. This is in the shade Barracuda. And again, this is sort of almost like a cherry um, toned, like a raspberry, berry toned red. So I haven't worn this shade in a while, and it actually is a bit more brown toned than I thought, or than I remembered, but this is also really pretty. Um, this is not going to dry down matte, so it will transfer, but this ColourPop, this is like six, five or six bucks, I think, so also another affordable option, and very comfortable. It's like, just like a regular lipstick, so you know, like it will come off, you will have to reapply, but I think this shade is... Got a little on my teeth. I think this shade is really pretty and a good um, fall color. And now we have our final shade. You guys probably are like, thank God. Me too, honey, me too, because these lips are burning. Oh. Okay, so the last shade is this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in the shade Strawberry. This is one of my favorite um, shades of red, which is why I saved it for last. Okay, so this is the last but not least. I think this shade is so pretty. Um, I honestly feel like you could make this shade work, sorry, it's still not perfect, but I feel like you could make this shade work throughout the entire year. It would be really pretty for the holidays, you could do like a nice bronzy, um, smoky eye. Yeah, I really like this shade and, um, the Anastasia formula, I really like the formula for these as well. So, that is it. I believe that was like 15 shades of red. <laughs> so... My lips are hurting now, but it was a fun video. I hope you guys liked this. Um, like I said, I just wanted to try something different. And yeah, I will list all of the products, all of the shades in the description box below. Um, so if you are interested in purchasing one of them, you can see what the name of it is and the shade and everything. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, do you want me to do more videos like this? Um, I could do like, I could do like a series and do like 50 shades of nudes, 50 shades of pinks. Obviously I'm not actually going to do 50 shades, but I would do a bunch of different shades that I have. Um, and yeah, so again, just let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me, more than you guys can even imagine. Um, but I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!